Hello everybody and welcome back to the Little King Story playthrough. So we made a little bit of progress through the Sunflower Plains yesterday. And now it is time to make further progress through the Sunflower Plains. Yes, sir. Pretty much the plan for today is to uh, do just a general roundup of everything that is available in the southern bit of the Sunflower Plains. Actually no, tell a lie, I'm going to cover everything in the Sunflower Plains that is possible to get right now, and then uh, in I think the next part we're then going to start to push onward up past there. You took your bloody time, matey, with the eye patch. I'm going to be very disappointed if you slack, mate. Also, I have no idea why, but I've got an obsession with whenever I set out for the day, instead of doing the smart thing and just going to the... the cow jump cannon thingy. Always just seem to run. And I've got some sort of weird obsession with just going, let's, let's just follow the path and we're all good. Also, Victor, you're alive! Thank God for that. Because I desperately need you, mate. Because otherwise this would just be disastrous. But anyway, since we're just by this now, we can go straight to farmland. And begin our day properly. And by properly, I mean it's it's just going to be another pretty bog standard day. Although I think I'm being a little bit of a forgetful div. In that Farmer's Revolution was at the only grounds, and I'm not going to the only grounds. But it's all fine because that's going to be there for a few days. Even if I forget about it, it doesn't really matter. All that matters is that we make it to outside those two kingdoms that we are wanting to wage war on. I was thinking, oh, is there something up here? Because I know I can get down there. I just don't know how at present. And oh, look, there's a there's a dragon up there in a space, and I want to go there, but I can't. You're not actually going to be able to go in that direction for quite a while. Which is slightly frustrating because obviously it's like, I see somewhere, I want to go there now. But no, you've got to wait until after our next boss fight, which is still quite a way away. Also, I'm going to get another cockadoodle do out of this, aren't I? Oh no. I get nothing! Yay! Always pleasant when you get absolutely nothing from a bit of hard work, eh? Well, I bet I'm going to get a cockadoodle do on this one, aren't I? There he is! And over a hole once again, stop doing this to me, game! Don't want you to be shoving damn cockadoodle doos over bloody pits. Thereby making it really difficult for me to freaking get them. Because you can't quite lure them out of their location, which is just really, really, really irritating. So I think what I decided to do was uh, just go the slightly cheap way of just bum rush everything and then I got rid of the hole so then I could more easily get the damn cockadoodle do. Well so as you can see some of these cockadoodle doos do roam and as such they are potentially quite deadly but these ones that do roam are much easier to deal with than anything else because you know you don't actually have to worry about them your gourmet cook going in completely the wrong direction and going down and starting to dig the pit rather than uh, doing the smart thing and getting the massive chicken before you know, dig the pit. 
Yes, I suspect we're going to have to face down a few melancholies. Yep. That's about right. Wait for him to give us a charge. We should have properly waited before sending my soldiers in, but you know what? A little bit of kamikaze is not going to hurt them in the long run. They'll reincarnate and it'll all be fine. Now, if you're wondering why I'm not actually properly trying to attack this, it's because I know that the Cockadoodaloos are going to try and respond. And I'd rather try and catch them off guard, if that is at all possible. So, making use of the evade mode, well, evade formation, is just going to make my life a hell of a lot easier. And, oh, for Christ's sake. Because if you go down the lower route, which is where Victor the Gourmet Cook has fallen, then, uh, yeah, it's... The cockadoodle-doos start to attack you. And that's just it's, just... it's just not fun. So that's why you want to take the top route, because then you can kill the cockadoodle-doos, and then you can actually make progress. Thankfully it all loops back around, so you're not completely screwed over if you fall off. But you, do, you are going to have to spend the time, obviously, wheeling yourself all the way back round to get to the cockadoodle-doos and then back. So, it's just like, ugh. But it's all fine. We've only got two more to deal with, and as long as I stay clear, we should be okay. Right, I'll do the smart thing. Go this way, kill him. And then I'll loop back around and get the meat. Because that way I'm more likely to keep all of my citizens a little bit safer. Because half the problem I was having was that I was getting slightly too close to the edge and therefore people were getting lobbed off the end. Which is certainly not what we want. Also... That, that, that was not what I was expecting to come out of that. It's fine. We're good. Oof. There are certain moments in this game where you get enemies that decide to just come out of nowhere to attack you. And they always freak me the hell out because I'm just like, oh! Ah! And it, it, I, I sound like a complete and utter lunatic when that happens because obviously video games is not anything actually scary, it's just things trying to kill me. And uh, if we have a look around, we're pretty much sorted in terms of everything. Do be very, very careful around this area. There are the melancholies here, which are nothing much to worry about. But the second that you start building the bridge, well, you'll just have to see, won't you? So, the, the Moonflowers decide that they want to come out now for whatever reason? I don't know why. Because it's not the middle of the night. You would have thought they would have stayed asleep. But then again, I suppose those Sunflowers did look particularly suspicious guarding the entrance over here. Right, so that, that's, that's all fine. And deal with a few uh, Sunflowers, they're not a problem. That, however, is... Yeah, I, I was not expecting to see Yvonne again today. But obviously I lost Caden as a result. I'm sorry, Caden, you will be remembered. And I better damn well see you tomorrow when you wash up on the beach. There we go. That bridge is built. 
that was the main thing that I wanted to get done today because that means that we are pretty much halfway through this stretch until we get to the area where the bosses are located, well, where the kingdoms that we are trying to wage war with are located. But before we go that route, we've got a few other areas of the Sunflower Plains to deal with. And Chop Chop guys, quite like you to finish that hole sometime today, please. Because we, we, we've got quite a bit of work to do. We, we've got that whole area in the middle there to destroy. We've got a few holes on this top path that we never dealt with. So Chop Chop, we've got work to be doing. Really can't be messing around the viewers for that much longer. You need to hurry up with your work. I'm working you to the bone, you know. I don't pay you to be slow. Then again, I don't pay them at all. They pay me. Ah! Because obviously they pay me their taxes whenever I go to their houses. And that's one thing that I'm quite grateful for with Little King Story is that there's no... Well, at least at the present moment in time, there's no need to pay anybody, so your national budget can go entirely on infrastructure. And... training. Because that means that, you know, you're actually getting use out of these things. And also, for God's sake, not again! Yes, 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 Doos over bloody pits are my worst nightmare. And once again, I'm having to go for the bum rush technique. Because it feels like the only way that sometimes you can actually effectively deal with these things. And in that hole was... Art piece number... I think that was number 100, actually. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, uh... Yay! That's not actually the 100th piece of art that we've collected, because... You know, we, we were like 26 last time I checked, I think. <laughs> That's uh, really, really being... Uh... Oh no. Hmm. Yeah, I honestly can't remember the last time we went to Ginger. So, we'll live. Also, it looks like I'm going down into that little bottom bit there now. Oh, well, it's fine. I was planning on going in here anyway. Just wanted to make sure that I was careful about how to proceed because obviously you've got proper doodle doos and then there's the potential for quite a few melancholies. Also, do make sure that you've got a merchant on you because if you have a merchant on you, you can find that hole. And obviously that hole's going to have treasure in it. And you want treasure because you want money because you want to be able to actually do stuff. But pretty much after this area and just making sure that we loop back round to the top, we will have pretty much covered the entirety of the Sunflower Plains. Yay! And pretty much once you've gotten past the Sunflower Plains, and gotten to where the two kingdoms are, things do, obviously, as I've said, pick up. And thank God that they pick up, because I think I'd be going absolutely insane. I mean, I'm already going slightly potty. But that's for a variety of reasons, and not just the fact that we've been slowly but surely pushing towards getting through this area for, like, five parts. But it's all good. And also, because obviously it's turning to night time, all of these enemies are popping up around the place. So, if we head back the way we came, then we'll be finding more cockadoo to lose. The first port of call is obviously just destroying these melancholies, getting through this area. And I think there's a hole, there's a hole up by the river I want to be trying to deal with. I can't remember if there's anything else, mind, but... It's all good. Yeah. 
Because, yeah, it really irritates me that we can't get to that bit just over the fence. Because the only way to get to that is to beat one of the uh, false kings who are trying to say that we aren't a real king. They are the fakers. Right, so that's that bit dealt with. That leads us back to there, so that's all that sorted. We could pop down into the middle there, but I think we have already dealt with that. This is something we definitely are wanting. We want to deal with that, because that means we're going to get like a big treasure. Hell yes! Now we've got a spring that's slightly useful to us if we want it. Um, I'll just send everybody in for now, because... We're going to get into a few more scrapes, so we might as well just be on the safe side, because you never know what's going to happen with these things. And then let's just drop off the edge and uh, deal with this last little bit of the Sunflower Plains. Definitely kill the con 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 what the cockadoodle do. And then we dig. And oh, look! But wonder spot number three, the Firefly Lake. How lovely. But it is a really lovely little area. And just obviously it's a shame that, you know, there's the big demon frog that tries to kill us. And a variety of other things. Like, you know, deadly sunflowers and massive evil chickens. But I suppose it can't all be fun cute colonies that die dead easily. Or, you know, the, just the general escargoos, because they're not much of a threat either. But I have to say, we've made quite a bit of money today, I think. And also, we've done uh, the major bit of progress that I wanted to try and get done for today. Which was to get that bridge built. Because, like, seriously... Once that's built, we can then uh, push onward a little bit further. I think I'm still going like, how do I get across there? I want to get across there, goddammit! And then realising it's not going to happen. Because it's just, it's simply not meant to be. So I think that's, that's, that's enough for today. Tomorrow we will see what is across the bridge. But let's, just for tonight, see what is... Well, what we made today. I, I think we made quite a bit of money there. Good grief. We made like 10,000... Yes, Was it? Hmm. Might be 100,000 bold. Yeah, we've now got... I uh, don't know, it, it's 12,000 bold. Or... 12 million ball. I don't even know anymore. Because <laughs> I can look at it and think, is that a comma or a, or a decimal point? I think it's a comma, so yeah, we're back down to full million and 56,000 ball. So, we can build one of these. Let's go for the more expensive one, just to get it out of the way. And uh, we're back down to not having much money, but progress is getting made, and now... We can go to bed knowing we can go further. We can go across the bridge and see what is there. Yay!